August 14, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and seven months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 537 of Special Putin's operations. Big picture. Today was a Ukrainian national day of mourning for those lost in Kherson. Ukraine has counted nearly 1,600 children killed or severely wounded since the start of the Kremlin's invasion. The Kremlin appears to have committed the 1,822nd Battalion to defense of Kozachi Lahari. Belgrade Area Air Defense was engaged for the second day in a row. Dnieper Line. At the recent crossing of Kozachi Lahari, it appears the Kremlin has dedicated the 1,822nd Battalion to repulsing Ukraine. Alternatively, due to fog of war and operational secrecy, Ukrainian command is releasing their knowledge of this battalion's existence. Kremlin ordered shelling was heavier in the last day, with over 340 shells fired into the right bank of Kherson. Zaporizhia Front. Fighting at Robotine continued, a Kremlin counterattack being the only noted ground fighting in the last day. Further east at the Morki Yoli, the Kremlin made two separate attempts to steal more land. One to capture the recently liberated town of Eurosheim, and another to take land to the east of that town. The Kremlin was repulsed in both cases by Ukraine. Kremlin ordered shelling was reported lighter than usual along this front. East Front, Donetsk. Heavy shelling from this area north. Glide bombing north of Vuladar continues for the second day in a row. Attacks were reported in Marienka and Avdiivka. Bakhmut area. Fighting was heavy between Andiivka and Klishchivka, with the Kremlin making attempts to take more ground being repulsed. Ukraine countered the destruction of a KA-52 near Klishchivka. North of Soldar at the village of Vesely, Ukraine appears to have repulsed an attack. Glide bombing was heavy in the Ukrainian rail lines, especially around the M03 highway northwest of Bakhmut. Oskil border front. For the first time in a week or so, the Kremlin attempted an attack west of Lysychansk at the town of Biloharivka. Further north, to the west of Svartov, the Kremlin made another attempt to ford the river and climb the ridge, with some success. No combat reported by either side in the areas around Kupiansk. Northern border. The Kremlin's air defense units were busy along this front two days in a row. A teenager and an elderly woman were wounded by shelling in Kharkiv, however shelling in Sumy and Kharkiv oblasts was lighter than previous days. Shelling was much heavier than usual in Chernihiv oblast. Black Sea. The Kremlin has ordered 14 warships on patrol in the Black Sea, none with missile capacity. A missile-carrying frigate which shelled Odessa with 8 caliber overnight appears to have returned for resupply. Ukraine world-related. Six Leopard 1 tanks are en route to Ukraine from Spain. The United Kingdom intercepted two Russian bombers in the North Sea. Norway has agreed to provide the Cortex Typhon anti-drone turrets for Ukrainian Dingo armored vehicles, also to be supplied by Norway. The Pentagon has delineated the weapons and tools Ukraine will be receiving in the next $200 million aid package. These include Patriot missiles, HIMARS rockets, mine-clearing equipment, artillery shells, anti-tank munitions for infantry and artillery, tactical support vehicles, parts, maintenance equipment, 12 million rounds of small arms ammunition, grenades, and obstacle-clearing munitions. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.